Hello and welcome back. In this part, we're going to study constants in Rust. In the last lesson, we have studied variables and mutability. So let me go ahead and create a project real quick in my folder uh, underscore 07 constants. So um, you know that to create a project in Rust, you can do cargo, new, and the name of the project. But as I have a folder already, I want to initialize a project directly inside that folder. So what I can do in this case, I can say cargo space init, and it's going to initialize a project directly inside my folder. All right, let's go to main.rs. Let's close the integrated terminal. And let's just add a quick um, title here. All right, you guys, so constants like immutable variables that we have discussed in the last part constants actually are values that are bound to a name and are not allowed to change exactly like variables but in fact there are few differences between constants and variables that's why i was very careful the last time i told you do not confuse the variables with the constants granted both are immutable but the first difference between a constant and a variable that in a constant you're not allowed to use the keyword mute with constant so if you will do let mute x equal to 5 for instance okay you cannot say so first of all you um you declare a constant by using the keyword const c-o-n-s-t and it suggests here that Y, it should be capital, and also the type annotation should exist, and then the, um, the assignment for the variable. If I will do Y like that, and if I will just say uh, 10, like this, um, this is not according to Rust rules, but I'm going to tell you that in a second. So you cannot come here and do like this, const mute equal to, uh, or const mute Y equal to 10. Um, if I'm going to print the value of x, for instance, and if I'm going to print the value of y, okay, if we're going to do that, and uh, let me do cargo run, we're going to have an error, of course. Why? Because missing type for const item. So um, actually hasn't, ah, okay, so that's the first error. That was, that. that's what I was looking for. So cannot be mutable. A constant is by default immutable. Not only that, but also you're unable to change it to immutable. Okay, so it's by default immutable. It will always stay immutable. You can never change a constant to mutable. So that was the main error. So missing type for const item. Um, so yeah, uh, I told you the second one is you need to provide a type for the constant uh, i32, for instance. All right, so the basic difference is that you cannot use this keyword here, this mute in front uh, a const. You cannot do that. All right, the second thing in constants, if you will, uh, if you will declare a constant, it should be with capital letter like that. So this is by Rust rules. Also, when you declare a constant using the const keyword, of course, um, you are obliged to enter or to add the type annotation. So let's say i32, for instance. So based on Rust rules, this expression is correct. Okay, const y with type uh, integer for 32 bits equal to 10. Now let's try to run that again. All right, it has printed here uh, the value of x is 5, the value of y, and notice that the y is underlined. Now it's complaining here why, let mute x equal to 5, remove this mute. Yeah, because we're not using it, we're not changing anything on x, so it will not make a difference. So that's why it doesn't like it, but we will leave it. Also, a distinctive feature of uh, const is that you can declare a const in any scope, including the global scope. Global scope means outside of the main function. So you can come here and say you can declare a constant here. Okay, with a type annotation. Yeah, this is a good suggestion. So 
if we'll say const pi equal to 3.14 and that's of data type floating point 64 keep it like that and if we'll go here and do like this uh, the value of pi all right and let's try to run that you can see here that the value of pi is 3.14 okay it has printed that with no problems let's also try to create another one const um, the one that's actually here in the book this one let's copy this one let's get back here and let's paste that in const three hours in seconds with uh, type annotation unsigned 32 60 multiplied by 60 multiplied by 3 that means three hours in seconds okay so if i want to print ln the value of not e but three um three hours i don't know why I did like this three hours in seconds is and we'll pass that three hours in seconds okay cool let's run that uh and we'll have an error okay uh okay three hours in seconds in seconds that's odd you shouldn't trust ai always <laughs> okay let's run that one more time and indeed we have the value of three hours in seconds is 10,800 seconds and that's it those are the rules for constants in rust in the next video we are going to discuss shadowing and explain what shadowing is in rust